Okay, so now we'll do a tutorial that will show you maybe an easy way to use the gradient mesh. And we're going to make a pumpkin. I'll take off my stroke here and come to my swatches here. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, I guess I got rid of too much. Okay, here's the swatches. All right, and so I'm going to choose an orangey color here and make two um, ellipses. And I'll just make a copy here of this. will select these both and let's see I thought I saw the pathfinder hiding there I did let me get rid of this and I will unite those okay so let me go in here and let's see I'll go with my direct selection tool and just bring this down a little bit okay looks pretty darn good. All right, so now I'll go uh, take off my fill and put on a stroke color black so you can see what we're doing. And I'm going to draw lines like this. Okay, let's just Now, you notice that I have these lines going um, a little beyond this, and that's important. So I'll click on the pen tool again and make another line here. Oops, 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 oops. Well, pumpkins aren't real. Symmetrical. So I went on the pen tool again. All you really need, I can't remember, I don't know why this keeps jumping up there like that. Okay, that's enough. So I have three lines here. You could put on more if you like. And I'll select these three lines and go to the reflect tool. I'll move my Reflection point to the center here. Oops, now I guess I it just wants to do this. Okay, let me select these three again. There we go. All right. Go to the reflection tool and I'll click here to move that reflection point. And I'll just grab this by the side here like this. Hold down my Alt key and to make a copy, and there we go. Okay, so I'll take all of these now and go to the Pathfinder tool and divide. Okay, so now these are divided, and I'll go to Object and Expand because we need to expand these to make them separate. And then I'll go to the group selection tool and select them one at a time. I'll go to object, I'll create gradient mesh, and I will do this, oh, just, I think we'll just have uh, two cones here, and you can have those three rows. And I think I'll do the highlight, um, can I do that 40%? Uh-oh, that did not work. All right, control Z that. So let's go back here to, okay, oh, because I had flat here. 
I don't want that. I want it to center. There we go. Now, 40%, and maybe even 20% for the highlights would be nicely. There we go. Okay. And then we'll go on to the next one, object, do a gradient mesh, and just go through all of these like that. And object, create gradient mesh. My options are already. There we go. Selected. And there we go. One more. And the last one. Okay. So now we have our pumpkin. Let's make a stem. So we'll deselect here, and you can even group this if you want. Go object and group. Okay. And we'll go to the pen tool. And let me take off my. Oh, well, I guess I have to keep the smart guys on. Okay, so here we go. We'll make the stem. Just curve it here and take off this fill. Um, try to make it a little rounded here. straight across. So there's my stem. And I'll start out by giving it all oh, kind of a grayish look to it there. Okay. And then we'll go to object and create gradient mesh. And I'm going to make this uh, let's see actually I think just two rows would do okay. But I'd like make three columns. That sounds good. And I'll say OK to that. And we're going to make this black for now. OK. And then I'll go with the direct selection point uh, tool and um, select some of these points here. And put in a little green here. Let's see. And I'll select that again. There we go. And hold down my shift key. Oh, my guy selected the black. I guess I can uh, do one at a time. There we go. Now we're getting some color in there. And some more. So, yeah. All right. Maybe a little up at the top here. You be the judge. All right. So there we've got some green on there. Going to control zero. We've got a very nice looking pumpkin. Um, but it's really even looking. So I'm going to make a copy of it. And we can go with the warp tool and just push in on it in a few places to change it. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, and we can do another one. Make a copy of it and go to the warp tool. And this time we'll push in all oh, from a different place. There we go. And there we are. There's another pumpkin. And we'll do one more. So much fun to do. And go to the warp tool. And this time from here. Uh, there we go. And we have three different pumpkins. And 
you can see I use this on this greeting card right here. Did something like this for a Halloween card. So I hope this gives you some ideas and um, go on to the um, greeting card video and uh, talk to you later. Bye!